hello, hello, and welcome to episode 481. Eh, sounds about right. Of Prog Review, and today we're doing Miniatures Volume 2. We did we did Volume 1 in the last one, and now we're into, into Volume 2. And if you didn't see the previous one, I'd better do some explaining. This is a collection, but this time it's 60, 60 tiny masterpieces uh, collated by Morgan Fisher. He's the brains behind this. And so you have 60 tracks, each one 60 seconds long. That's 60 times 60. And yeah, it is a follow-on or a re a rejiggering of the previous idea. And this one was released um well it's turn of the millennium, the year two thousand. Could it be? Could it have been that long ago? And again, it's the, it's like twenty years. That sounds about right. Twenty years after the previous, after the previous miniatures, and as I was saying in my previous video, these are very much uh, a, a thing of their time. These are a creation of their time, and we have some, we have some familiar people appearing who was on the previous one, like Michael Nyman, uh, Robert Fripp with Trey Gun this time, um, Simon Jeffs piano, the. Uh, uh, Simon Jeffs or Penguin Cafe Orchestra, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, so there is a little bit of you know crossover, but we have new people. We have John Paul Jones, Linton Quasi Johnson, the the poet, the street poet or beat poet, um, Hugh Cornwall, Howard Jones, uh, B.J. Cole, Terry Riley. Uh, who else have we got that you may have heard of? Uh, it's because there's quite a few on here that I, I even I don't know. There, you know, Gavin Bryce again. He's from the last one. Uh, Jane Sibber is on here. Um, Jeffrey Richardson uh, plays with the uh, Caravan and Penguin Cafe Orchestra. Uh, do, 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 do. Lowell Coxill again. He was on the previous one. Trans Global Underground. Who remembers them? Um, yeah, and loads of others. There, there are loads. 60 because I've already said 60 artists giving these tiny little jewels and this time around it is very different it is very different to the previous one whereas the the first one if you haven't watched that video is like I say it's a bit more left field and anarchic and very you know you can feel the 1980s you can you can smell you can smell the time you can smell 1980 um, in the grooves as it were um, this one is it, it is millennial. It's technologically advanced. You know, there's more. You know, it's got more going for it. And it's also there's a slant towards more what I'd call more world music. You know, there's more world music influences on this from all parts of the globe. Um, and there's some really good stuff. You know, opening with the track "Jump Time," which is great. It's coming. Fanfare for the Millennium by John Paul Jones. Another great track. It's these again. These ones. These are more. Uh, I'd say they're more polished. Whereas the rough diamonds on that one. These ones, the production value has gone up considerably. Um, and I would say it's it's. Wow! It whizzes past. It, you know, it's for, for something that's an hour long. These tracks just come and they go. And yeah, there's some things I'm not particularly uh, happy with. <laughs> there's, but there are some that I, I, again, I played this, and it was like revisiting an old friend. It was like I remember you. I remember Shaka Shaka Shaka. I remember that. I remember the Dog of Karoon by Transglobal Underground. Um, and it's funny because I wouldn't say it's these are albums that I play all the time. But it, it got into these albums have got into my DNA. They're there, you know. Uh, they wheedled their way in. They 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 are they're fascin I find I again to repeat myself. I find them fascinating. And again, it is a very disciplined construct. You know, you have to be very very tight when you take on this project. You know, to deliver something that is sixty seconds or less. You can, you can do a little bit less. Can't go over 60 seconds, though. And so to actually do something that works, that functions as a tiny little song that is full of character, that has a, you know, 
that has a purpose, that is individual, that stands out, it is a real test of musicianship. And that's what we get here. We get people that are just, you know, it's, I've just, I think it's just really clever. And I'm hoping that, you know, maybe in 2020 there'll be volume three. Though I probably won't be. I think this is probably it. Um, but yeah, there is so much. I mean, this one is even bigger. It's even bigger, Mill, because you get, you know, you get an extra, extra, extra nine minutes. <laughs> but it feels more varied. You haven't got the the comedy stylings, you know. You haven't got the like the kind. Of, I'm not going to say throwaway tracks, but you haven't got the oh, let's do a funny cover or let's you know let's be funny with this. This is more. It's more earnest. It's more serious. You know these th these tracks. You know are meant to you know stand on this together, and you know in a way it's it is a better album. You know, because there's more focus to it. I think you know this, that's just my opinion. I think it's a much more and a focused attempt, whereas I think the first one is Leo. Yeah, a bit more fun. <laughs> this one's not. Fun. <laughs> this isn't fun. You can't have fun. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's um, yeah, it's it's a very different project. More international. More. You know, again, we was talking about we we did one voice, didn't we? That one previously. They're kind of almost interrelated, but you know they're not. You know there might be some crossover like with the Penguin Cafe and everything, but um, you know the world influence on this kind of harks back to this one, which was done years ten years previously. So there's, there is a kind of a you know similar feel, whereas that one's more produced and everything's intertwined and it's more of a mashup. Where this is. If you took all those components out and laid them flat and made them, you know, in the individual parts, you'd end up with that. Does that make sense? I don't know. Um, but yeah, you can get this one. Like I said, you can get one and two in a, in a handy to digest uh, double CD collection these days. And again, if you want something that's a bit different, that's a bit, you know, that's going to stretch you and test you and uh, make you go, oh, and maybe introduce you to some new artists. It's an incredible way to make you think, oh, I'll check those guys out. You know, it's a it's a really um, economical way to uh, to do that to get a lot of music in your ear holes in in sixty minutes. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I I love them both. I really do. These are these are albums, like I said, that have had they must have had an influence. They must they must do something to me. Because I remember them so well, and like I said, even I don't necessarily play them all the time. It's like these are like old friends, you know, that's, and and those kind of albums I think are the more, you know, they're not necessarily you don't necessarily have to play them all the time, but you know they kind of get under your skin, and they're the they're the important albums. They're the ones that mean something. They're the ones that have true value. Whether it will be the same for you, I don't know. You'll have to go and you know find out for yourself. Try it for yourself. See if. Um, I'm on the right track here. Of course, it could all be a load of pretentious guff, couldn't it? I could be wrong. I don't think I am. I don't think I am. Um, but yeah. So there you go. So that's uh, Miniatures Volume 2, released at the turn of the century, 2000. All those, all those years ago. And again, I think I got this when it came out. It's on Cherry Red Records. Cherry Red's still going. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so that's that. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, I think we've done everything. Don't forget to like this video or dislike. It's all engagement. Don't forget to leave a comment. It's all engagement. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and ring the little bell. Tickle me bell end, as I like to say. Um, if you want to support the channel, there's the Patreon. There's links in the blurb below. Um, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Oh, I was supposed to do ratings, even I forgot to do ratings. Both of them get five out of five of whatever. Five miniatures out of five. Volume one and two. Five miniatures out of five. It's just you cannot give it anything less. You can't. You can't give it well you could, but then where's the fun in that? I have deep I have deep love for these albums. So there's very little point in me actually giving them a rating. But we do it just for the people in the comments section who say you've forgotten, even though. But anyway. <laughs> 
thanks for watching <laughs> there's only one more thing left to say and that's i've got 10 million views i've got 10 million views 10 million channel views which is more than you more than you more than you progon